What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the best Elvin Hayes build. The Big E's career has been overlooked and severely underrated, primarily because he played most of his career in the 70s, sandwiched in between the gaudy stat lines of the 60s and the high profile stage of the NBA in the 80s. Taken first overall by the San Diego Rockets in 1968, Hayes was the team's first star, drafted after the team's first season. He put up impressive numbers, leading the league in scoring, averaging 28 points, and also grabbing 17 boards in the same season. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough to win the Rookie of the Year, as the second overall pick West Unseld transformed the Bullets and took home both Rookie of the Year and MVP honors. He played for the team for four seasons and saw the team's move to Houston while being an all-star all four years before being traded to the Bullets. There, he formed one of the best front courts in league history with Wes Unseld, and he became the dominant scorer with his turnaround jumper, while Unseld was the dominant defender. While teaming together, both players would lead the league in rebounding, and the Bullets would make three finals run with the pair, winning Washington's only championship in 1978. After his run with the Bullets, Hayes went back to Houston to finish out his career, teaming alongside another Rockets number one overall pick in Ralph Sampson, and retiring before the team could draft another number one overall pick with Hakeem Olajuwon. Hayes ended up as a 12-time All-Star, a member of six All-NBA teams and two All-NBA defense teams, and was also a member of the 50 greatest players in NBA history. So without further ado, let's get into the build. This is going to be power forward, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose 11, because that's the number he wore for the majority of his career. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the blue and red pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the balanced physical profile. Now for your attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to a 90. Your driving dunk up to an 84. Your standing dunk up to an 89. And your post hook up to an 81. And that's going to give you 23 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to bring your mid-range shot up to the max. Bring your free throw up to a 74. And bring your post fade up to a 72. And that's going to give you six shooting badges. For playmaking, you're gonna max out your post moves. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get any additional playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're gonna max out your interior defense. Bring your steal up to a 60. Bring your block up to an 83. Bring your offensive rebounding up to an 83. And your defensive rebounding up to an 83. And that's going to give you 20 defense and rebounding badges. So 23 finishing, six shooting, one playmaking, and 20 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 50 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is gonna be 6'9". Weight, you're gonna max out his weight. Uh, he did not weigh 280 pounds. He weighed about 230, 240 pounds, but I needed to bring that interior defense up. So that's why we're going with 280 pounds. And for the wingspan, you're gonna go with 87 inches. So at 99 overall, you're gonna have a 95 close shot. 85 driving dunk, a 96 standing dunk, and an 85 post hook. For your shooting stats, you're going to have a 65 mid-range shot, a 78 free throw, and a 76 post fade. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 76 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have a 91 interior defense, a 64 steal, an 89 block, and an 88 offensive and defensive rebounding. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym ride badge, you're going to be 71 for speed, 67 for acceleration, 84 for vertical, and 99 for strength. For the takeover, I would go with the glass cleaner takeover. You could go with the protective takeover if you wanted to, but I would definitely go with the glass cleaner takeover. And the build is complete, and you have built a paint beast, shades of Elton Brand, John Collins, and Anthony Davis. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put back down punisher on gold, contact finisher on gold, deep hooks on gold, drop stepper on gold, lob city finisher on bronze, pick and roller on gold, put back boss on hall of fame, and relentless finisher on gold. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put deep fades on gold and pick and popper on gold. For your one playmaking badge, you're gonna put it on post spin technician. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're gonna put box on gold, defensive leader on gold, intimidator on gold, post move lockdown on gold, rebound chaser on gold, rim protector on gold, and worm on silver. 
All right, everyone, this has been the best Elvin Hayes build. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall, and you'll also be kept up with everything we do on the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.